afternoon, my name's Hit Swift and today is a quick little review of a one kilo tent. This is a four season tent from a company called De Gear Top. And this is a hiking tent, bike, uh, backpacking tent, whatever you want to call it. So you have to have a couple of walking stick poles to go in, which are basically for the main apex of the tent itself. So let's set this tent up now and I'll take you through some of the features. These poles have a nice little clicking system, also by a company called Gear Top, the same company as the tent. So let's see how sturdy this pole is when it's actually in good windy conditions like today. I'd be very surprised if it stands up to the job to be honest, for such a lightweight material tent, but I haven't even unpacked it yet myself. So let's actually get it out, take a look and see if it's up for the job. So there you are, that's the inner tank done. Let's get a fly sheet on and see Bye what it's like. Hello Emily, how are you? Everybody. That's my daughter. Hello Annabelle as well. Right, let's get the fly sheet on before we get carried away. The pegs that come with this tent are just a little U-shaped peg like that. At the minute they seem to be fairly strong and stiff but we'll see what happens. That's the fly sheet on. Looks alright, feels alright for heavy rain and wind and that. Lots of adjustability all over. My daughter's flying up a tree. And uh, yeah, let's peg size out, see what it looks like. And there we have it, the setup is complete. Let's take a quick look around and inside. And let's roll this up. Get it out of the way. Nice, uh, nice little tie rope. Nice breathable. Undo them and it folds together, collapses together. Um, I actually put the door on the wrong side. Let's uh, undo that side as well then. I forgot to do the clips up that connect the inner tent to the outer, so I'll just do that quickly. But you can see a bit more of how the actual thing's constructed now. The two poles in the centre hold the guy, um, the, the guy, whatever, the fly sheet on, the inner mesh on. Right, so now I've sorted everything out. The door's on this side, so let's open it. Take a look inside. And everybody's okay. Everybody's okay. Right, so now I've sorted out the issues I've forgotten about, like pegging it in the tent to the outer tent. You know, simple things. Now that's sorted, let's take a look at the doors. There's a door each side. And uh, yeah, let's take a look, ma'am, inside. Right. I'll get the camera off the tripod now and uh, take a look inside. There's a little air flap. Well, I say little, it's quite huge. Here's the sticks holding the actual bit up under here. They just kind of cross over type thing. The focus is terrible on this camera at the minute. But yeah, the bits I actually forgot was were these little notches. The tent isn't actually properly taut, as in tight. Yet, yeah, this is just... Put it up for now. You have a little pocket over there, and uh, I think they said this was 60D uh, polyester nylon or something, with a bit of a mesh up the top here for even more breathability. So you don't you don't start sweating in and out of your sleeping bag in the night. Let's take a look round. 
As you see there, the pegs are nicely firmly in place. No issue at all with wobbling or anything. And uh, yeah, the material's very, very nice on the underside of the material. It feels a bit more, not tacky, but a little bit less slippery than the top coat, which is absolutely ideal, I think. And uh, it may even stop some of the condensation from the inside. Not that that's going to happen when you have all them big air vents opened out like that. But if you don't want the air vents in the summer time, in the winter time, as I say, this is a four season tent and it's built quite well. There's string down here to the pen, uh, there's some string down here, a little guy for the inner tent, and there's a little bit of metal or carbon fibre pole here just to hold the corners upright so they don't flap down or anything like that. Plus, that is really, really effective for keeping a good distance from the ground in case you have flash floods across the valleys in Wales or wherever you're travelling to that's quite a high DPI whatever I can't even remember but yeah that's a nice little tent around about £100 or something $100 or something so the end result is a four season tent brilliant for hiking backpacking, camping, whatever it's very lightweight at 1.1 kilos the poles are make up about 0 0.3, 0 0.4 kilos, they're very lightweight. I think they're fiberglass or carbon fibre poles. And uh, yeah, overall, very good. The guy line, where the guy line goes on to, they're very, very reflective, just like my Provis reflective cycling jacket, which glows up in the night time quite nicely. So there you go, there's my uh, quick review of the gear top four season tent for hiking and backpacking. If you'd like to see more videos of mine, please click a link on screen. Till next time, stay safe and I hope you find peace. Round of my shot. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. hey so and... I'll give up man. Leave it out man, I don't know. <laughs> I've got, I've got a carbon fibre stick. Yeah, but mine's a thick, thick, thick stick. That's unfair, man. <laughs> no, mine, mine's thicker. No. Mine's thicker than yours. Alright, just go over there a little bit. Just go over there about three miles. Keep walking. When you get to the sea, wait. Yay! <laughs> I'm going to go to the sea. Bye. Bye. I'm going to give it a quick bit of a shake. See, Woo! What, see what loosens up. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to end up chucking this video out, I think. Yay! I've already got money. I ain't got money, I've got kids. <laughs> you don't have money when you got kids. I wanted to record by myself, but I thought it'd be nice of you to come and help me. So help. <laughs> you cheats. Mate, why have I got silly kids? <laughs> then Annie this video, we are away. <laughs> I just killed my kid in the background. <laughs> right, Wait, over there please. Do that again, do that again. Emily, we'll make a whole video about your new bike in a minute, okay? So bugger off. Oh yeah! Thank you.